Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News, Shinrin, Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Friday, February 23rd, around 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. A quiet day on the sun as compared to yesterday. Just a few low-level M flares, no coronal mass ejections, and no coronal mass ejections from any of the X flares. We also have another high-altitude balloon spotted over Colorado. Keep calm. It's balloon time. Snow pellets and hail in Charlotte. Heavy snow in the mountains. Take a look. The forecast is right here. Rain and storms along the eastern seaboard. Active weather returns to the northwestern U.S. this weekend. Showers and storms will continue along the east coast throughout the day today with a mix of rain and snow will be possible in the northeast and for portions of the Midwest. By late this weekend, the beginning of a series of fronts will bring impacts to the northwest, including mountain snow and gusty winds. And if the models hold right, some record-breaking snow totals for the west. Take a look at that. Absolutely buried. Here we are Saturday into Sunday, and let's just finish out the weekend. There's some high elevation snow in the Pacific Northwest, heavy, up to two feet potentially in Washington State, some light snow through the Midwest, and some light lake effect snow through Monday morning. Here's Monday through Tuesday. By Tuesday, another system is going to be moving down the Rockies, bringing some light snow to the Sierra Crest there. Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday and another system in the Pacific Northwest will push down towards the four corners but never get there and heavy snow for the entire West Coast and even Idaho in the high elevations. Absolutely going to be buried this spring. Ding, ding. China broke 117 low temperature records on Thursday. Oh my, and there is that X, 6.3 solar flare. Seismic update. There are no real quakes of note normal activity worldwide. There was the big triple junction 6.3 on the Pacific rise from last night, I believe. And we do have a large coronal hole facing Earth. So we are in earthquake watch for the next 24 to 48 hours. A quick look over at the Recanis Peninsula shows almost no seismicity. Very quiet there. And that brings us to worldwide volcano news. Popo. More periods of strong ash emission continuing there. Liwotolol, 7,000 foot puff, 14,000 feet for Reventador. Fuego to 15, Suanosima puffing today. Ducono as well to 8,000. Santo Huito to 14,000 feet. Semaru to 15,000. Sabancaya to 18,000. Nevado de Ruiz. And take a look at the beauty. Revealing the beauty of the volcanic activity through satellite imagery. These are the lava flows on the Requianis Peninsula as image from Sentinel-2 on the 8th of February 2024. Absolutely breathtaking, spectacular, and all the links will be below for you to peruse. Now, did you hear 52 people were taken to the hospital after hazmat situation in Lehigh County, Pennsylvania? This is my old stomping ground here, Upper McCungie Township, Pennsylvania. 52 people were taken to the hospital after a hazmat incident was reported Friday afternoon in Upper McCungie, Lehigh County. Crews were sent to Sharp Corporation at 7451 Keebler Way around noon, according to Lieutenant Pete Nickisher with the Upper McCungie Police. Nickershire said there was a chemical smell in the building and some employees were reported nauseous, vomiting with headaches, Fire and EMS and police crews were called to the scene and 52 people were taken to the hospital. Oh, my. Space weather news. As I said, the sun has gone quiet. Just some low-level M flares today. Let's take a look at that giant sunspot. It's going to be directly facing us in 24 hours. So the next two days are real critical for uh, this spot and hopefully no coronal mass ejections headed our way. But the seismic alert is because of coronal hole 01, which for the next 24 to 48 hours will be facing Earth and could trigger a large earthquake, perhaps. Another look at the ghost X-ray flux and the activity today. Largest flare coming in at M2.6. We do still have the potential for some geomagnetic storm here. Low level on the 25th 
here in the three-day uh, detailed geomagnetic forecast. Late day, February 25th, um, and that is for this plasma filament that left the sun back on the 22nd, headed our way. Now the U.S. is tracking a high-altitude balloon that was spotted over Colorado. Another one. U.S. military aircraft have located a high-altitude balloon flying over the western part of the country, according to the BBC's media partner, CBS News. The object has been determined to be non-threatening, but its origin and purpose are unknown. How do you like them apples? Like a broken record. Now, after the first moon landing in 50 years, did you hear? The lander is on its side. It fell over, unfortunately. But they're going to still be able to do experiments and communicate with the uh, lander, hopefully. Um, obviously, they're slightly embarrassed, but and it will take a while for even the first picture to come back. But what we also want to announce is the full snow moon. And it's a, full, it's a tiny moon boom, actually. The last full moon of the winter, the full snow moon, occurs Saturday. February 24th, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time, as I'm preparing for our radio show. This will also be the 2024th's furthest and only full micromoon this year. The furthest from the Earth on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Its distance will be a staggering 252,225 miles away compared to the average 238,900 miles away. It's a lot of moon, boom, distance. Now, good news is the moon will still be very close to full phase on Friday night, so it will be worth taking a look at if you can see it. So get out and look up. These 3,000-year-old treasures were forged from meteoric iron. Pretty fantastic. New research reveals that two Bronze Age artifacts from the treasure of Vilena contain iron from a meteor that hit a million years ago. The treasure of Velena was discovered in Spain's Iberian Peninsula back in 1963. And some new analysis showing that some of these objects contain meteoric iron. Fantastic. Whoops. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the erroneous correlation between earthquakes and eclipses on our radio show, which will be rebroadcast on Magnetic Reversal News, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. And we're also going to be talking about this fantastic article, an ancient human story about the seven sisters may have survived on Earth for 100,000 plus years. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. And be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm.